All right, students, today's lesson is going to be on adjective agreement. Adjectives, of course, you'll remember from your English classes, are those things that describe nouns. So, the thing you have to know about Spanish is that the adjective has to match the noun, and I will explain to you more about what I mean in just a second. Okay, so you'll remember that all Spanish nouns are either masculine or feminine. This is called gender. That thing applies to everything, not just people, who are obviously masculine or feminine, but also objects, as you'll recall. Um, you can tell whether a word is masculine or feminine by whether or not it has el or la in front of it. If the word typically has el in front of it, then that word is masculine. If the word typically has la in front of it, then that word is feminine. For example, we know that the word libro is mas masculine because it has a libro. Uh, the word silla has to be feminine because typically it is la silla, which definitely makes it feminine. Okay, so as I say before, adjectives that describe a noun must match the noun's gender. So if the word is masculine that you're describing, then the adjective must also be masculine. If the word you're describing is feminine, then the adjective describing it must also be feminine. Okay, so most of the adjectives you'll study end in either an O or an A. In your book and in some lists, you'll see that denoted as O slash A at the end of a word. For example, ordenado is the masculine version because it ends in an O, and ordenada is the feminine version because it ends in an A. So. As I just said, if you are describing a word that is masculine, you must use the adjective form that ends in an O. If the word you are describing is feminine, you must use the adjective form that ends in an A. Here are some examples with people. Uh, people being pretty obvious. Okay, we'll start with Carlos, who is clearly a guy. Carlos es muy ordenado. He says Carlos is very organized. Because Carlos is a guy, you have to use the form of the, the adjective that ends in an O. It would not be correct to say Carlos es muy ordenada, because that would be for a girl. Okay, the next example, Maria es muy ordenada, uh, would not be correct to say Maria es muy ordenado, because she's a girl. Okay, because Maria is feminine, you have to use the form of the verb that ends in an A. This applies to every, I'm sorry, I said verb a minute ago, I meant to say adjective. This applies to every adjective that typically ends in an O or an A. Um, some example sentences, el profesor es muy artístico. El profesor is, you know, the man professor, um, so if he's artistic, it has to be artístico with an O. La profesora es muy artística. Uh, if it's a female professor who is artistic, then it has to be artistica with an A. Here are some examples with uh, things or inanimate objects. It works exactly the same way. So, for example, el escritorio es muy feo, which means the desk is really ugly. Because el escritorio is a masculine word, then I have to put an O on the end of the describing word, which is feo. Okay, another example would be la silla es muy fea. If I want to say the chair is really ugly, I have to take into account that the word la silla is feminine, and therefore I have to use the A on the end of the describing word, fea. Pretty simple. Here are a few more examples for you. El chico es reservado. The boy is shy. La chica es reservada. The girl is shy. El libro es muy divertido. The book is very fun. La revista es muy divertida. The magazine is very fun. Notice that libro is masculine, so divertido with an O. Revista is feminine, so divertida, with an A. El director es muy simpático. The principal is really nice. Male principal. La directora es muy simpática. The female principal is very nice.
Okay, so male O, female A. Okay, so adjectives also have to agree with the nouns they describe in number. This means if the noun is plural or is more than one thing, then the adjective must have a plural ending also. So just a quick reminder, to make nouns plural, you put an S on the end or an ES if the word ends in a consonant. You change el de los and la de las. For example, el libro, if you wanted it to be multiple books instead of the book, um, you wanted to say the books, you would say los libros. If you wanted la silla, the chair, to become the chairs, you would say las sillas. So when it comes to making adjectives plural, we'll use the following example. Let's say that you're describing more than one book. You want to say that they are ugly. Okay, so you would say... Los libros son feos. Okay, because libro has an S on the end, making it more than one. Feo also needs an S on the end, too. Now, I know this seems a little strange, because what it literally says is, the books are uglies. Which is not a thing you would say in English. At least, I hope that's not a thing you would say in English. But in Spanish, it totally works. Okay, so, and then if you wanted to say you had multiple chairs that were ugly. You would say, las sillas son feas. Because sillas has an S on the end, fea needs to have an S on the end also. Notice that I still had to pay attention to whether or not the word was masculine or feminine, hence needing an O for libro and an A for silla, but then I had to add the S to also make them plural. You'll notice that in your list of adjectives, there are some that do not end in an O or an A. And you may be wondering what to do with those. An example of this would be the word paciente, which means patient. You'll notice that that thing ends in an E. There are a lot of other adjectives that also end in E. And I want to let you know what you're supposed to do with those. So for those, you don't have to worry about whether the word you're describing is masculine or feminine. You're not going to change the E to an O or an A. You just leave it an E. Okay, never change it. Leave it E. doesn't matter if the person you're talking about is male or female or the object you're talking about is male or female. Let the E be an E, right? Okay, so for example, el profesor no es muy paciente. The male professor is not very patient. Or... La profesora no es muy paciente. The female professor is not very patient. It doesn't matter that he's a guy and she's a lady. It doesn't matter, it's still paciente. Right? And the rules for making it plural also would apply. If I said los profesores instead of el profesor, then it would go los profesores no son muy pacientes. And you would just put an S on it, like you would do for anything else. Or, las profesoras no son muy pacientes. Put an S on it. So the rules for plural still apply. Okay, and then there are the weird ones. There are a few that will come up, like deportista, that look as though they are feminine, because they end with an A, right? For example, marxista, comunista, sexista, racista. Unfortunately, most of those are really not very nice words. Um, but there are a lot of ISTA adjectives that describe people. So, they look feminine because they end in an A, but actually those words that end in ISTA can apply to men or women. Male things or female things, right? They don't have to be just for females. So, for example, I might say, Carlos es muy deportista. Carlos is very athletic. I might also say, Maria es muy deportista. Maria is very athletic. It doesn't matter that Carlos is a guy, I just leave it deportista. It doesn't matter that Maria is a girl, I just leave that thing deportista and go on. You don't have to change those in any way, unless you're saying something plural. Like if I said Carlos y Andres son muy deportistas, I would have to put an S on the end because I was making it plural. So, don't change for gender, but do remember that the rules for plural still apply here. And that concludes our discussion of adjective agreement.
feel free to watch this again if you missed something, and I hope that you took notes. Thank you, have a nice day.